Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Hearts of Iron 3. I had to think there for a second. Now, as you can see, we've done some phenomenal work in, in northern China. We have really pushed them back over on a couple major cities, and we're actually uh, perched on the verge of taking the capital of Shanxi here. First things first, I'm going to make sure that we have uh, all of our units are taking care of these partisans in our rear areas really quickly. Let's just uh, give it a tick. All right, there we go. Give it a tick here. So now we have... This is the capital right here. So this is definitely something we got... We're lo whoa, when do we start losing a battle? And how are we losing it that badly? I, 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 I... Color me confused as to why I'm losing a battle here. Well, let's let it go for a day and see what happens. That... They're attacking strong. Re, you know, strong, fully reinforced, experienced units. In mountains. With extremely weak... I think that's an... I think that's an error right there. There's no way I'm losing that by that badly right there. And... Let's see here. Need to... That's cavalry... Now we got planes down here. Yes, we do have planes down here. So, so the cavalry can exploit that right there. Now I believe these guys probably yeah. A couple of these you, these guys are have, have kind of done a lot of pushing. I'd like to push down to this river right here. So we might need to go just a little bit further. So let's get that going. Should be pretty easy on it, in all honesty though. Now this is this is one province right here. So we can double up on it, and that should be that should be good. That'll actually sh um. That would actually be really good for me. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. I'm really liking the way this is going, and we actually should have some more... If, eh, September, it'll be a while. It'll be a while. Well, I actually have uh, battleships finished this year, though. The first capital ships that are going to get named for viewers. I'm looking forward to that. Alright, let's actually bring uh, my light tanks down here, too. Ugh, they're just running away is what's happening over here. Let's see, close air support. Oof, look at these, the, the fighter bombers and light bombers. I gotta, uh, I, I think I gotta go back to episode one. One of the you guys uh, gave me a breakdown of the best way of setting up um, air wings. And I don't remember what it was. All I remember is that you definitely want escorts. And it was like, uh, medium bombers need some, some what's it called to go with them, some, some, uh, twin engine fighters, which I actually think I have access to right now. I do. Let's put two of them on the production queue. And now, uh, let's go to diplomacy, let's go to Germany. We should be able to join them pretty soon. Um, so Axis, Germany. I think I'm too neutral still. Only by a little bit. Only by a little bit. Uh, okay, um, do 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 do. We wanted to, let's say, buy a production license. So I'm looking at those tanks there. Heavy tanks. Kind of shitty heavy tanks, though. Light armor. Are, those, are these mediums? Did they change the icon? Um,. Oh, I think uh, the little slash means it's an attachment. Perhaps. No, because this is an attachment right here, and this is just regular armor. Why don't we see what we can uh, what we can do to get a couple tanks in here? A couple of nice German tanks. Oh. I say they don't want very much money for these. Maybe they're not as good. Panzer Kampfwagen three off speed, so it's very, very early Panzer threes. I don't, I don't really feel like really, really early model Panzer threes are the way to go right now. Like if I went to production, 
and I checked out my own stuff. Type 92 tank. Shame I don't really have stats on their tanks. I'm glad that a lot's going into pr I think we even have more production to work with now. Pretty sure we do. Alright, let's slow these guys down. Let's, uh, let's throw you into the fight. That should help out a little bit. Yeah, open up another front there. Let's, uh, cavalry... You guys are actually good to go. Let me take the... Let's split you guys in half, see if you can, uh... Work like that. Let's, uh, send you raging south. Yeah, you're gonna be perfectly fine. Perfectly capable of doing that. Cut them off right there. Push them away from the capital. And let's actually start this assault here. Uh, so let's use two. And all of you guys. And let's use the mountains and the lights for the direct assault here. It's gonna be a rough attack. And then we're going to do, uh, we're gonna select you and we're gonna do support attack. Let's send the CAGs in. This is gonna be- I know- I know this is gonna be rough. This is their capital, and it's urban. And so it's going to be really, really ugly over here. The United States has launched the Yorktown. Oh, and our combat down here was successful. So let's take the guy- let's take a couple units, and I'll launch them this way. I feel like the Chinese troops are, are are really, really weakened at this point. The Enterprise has been launched. There's a small chance that a new battle, battle commander, he might appear in the building queue with his personal guards. 30% chance there will be no effect, and 70% chance there will be no effect. Oh, you know what? I said I only wanted one. So I bet that that's just the uh, the event hitting. But then it's telling me nothing's going to happen because I didn't want any other ones. I bet that's what that is. Alrighty, so. This is going to be my, my prime objective for the series. I need to take this area. We're attacking it from the directions we have available to us. Yeah, this... Not sure what was going on there. I don't think I'm going to have any... Attacking this, I don't think I'm going to have any luck. But let's leave... Let's let's try let's try pushing into the mountains with these guys. Let's see what happens. Five. Let's see, you could get involved in that. Oh, and that made them jump. That they made them jump ship there. Is this mountains? That's hills. Slow these guys down. Ha ha! Screw you guys. Oh, that, I was, all, all those guys are moving, all the, and I'm only fighting the militia here. Nice. Is, is that not decent progress? Is that not decent progress there? I am enjoying this progress. Now, let's take a, I wonder if, is that a victory point? No. I don't know why I thought that was a victory point. We got a couple. Let's go to Diplomacy. And Asia, and we're going to the Republic of China. We are at 30% gun position, twin engine plane advance. Okay. I think I got a lot of tech coming. I do. I've got a lot of tech coming. But there's also a shit ton in the in, in the workings here, because I basically have everything so from 1938 selected right now. Like, I don't even know what a lot of this stuff is. Defensive position designs from 1936. Uh, d oh, that's pretty cool. Defense against, um, basically increased defense for everybody everywhere. Uh, went up a couple, couple points there, and then it went right back down. Cags are taking a beating. Let's grab the other half of these. Oh, I have, I forgot I had him in there. Let's take the other half of these guys, and let's send them this way. Now we do have, oh, and they retreat out. I'm, I'm going to see if I can swing around behind. Oh, that's mountains. Shit. I'm going to see if I can swing around behind them, but fighting into the mountains is going to be rougher than fighting into a city. And 
what I'd like to do is, when you're available... Uh, he's not available. Mountain HQ advances. Very nice. Delay between attack reduced. Special forces mountain HQ plus 10%. Oh shit. Do me a favor. Scoot back this way with your, with your motorized units. Like, a lot of my units, especially on this side, need a little organization. But over here, I think we should be pretty good. Yeah. Ryan's right. Oh, I thought I... I thought I uh, redid that. Ooh, look at this guy. Completely out of organization. But they're gonna win the battle, so it's not a big deal. Right, you, we need to call off this attack. Barely making any progress here. Barely at all. What if we threw more tr if we threw more troops in? Would that make it better or worse? You know, stacking penalties and whatnot. Mountain rifle HQs. Party rally. Let's take it. Now, did we just get two more mountain HQs over here? Mountain rifle course. Mountain rifle army. Interesting. So. Is it really wanting me to put that many men? Because right now, let's say we went to production, and we went to division, and we went, we did division headquarters. There should be a mountain, a mountain infantry. Where's the other one? Division headquarters. Motorized infantry, marine. Because immediately, just throwing on a division headquarters immediately gives them minus 20. Minus 15. Do mountain infantry need to fight alone? Minus 25. Do they, do they, maybe they need to fight alone with no support. Like, what's the best way of doing this? Hmm. Just thousands and thousands and thousands of mountain troops. I'm not sure what the best way of uh, handling them is. I'm really not sure. So let, why don't we? We could at least do this. Get them over this way. Yeah, like and these guys. They're not having any progress over here. They're just beating their heads against that wall there. We lost 6,000 men, they lost 1,240. No pro- basically making no progress. Really, really losing a lot of men for nothing. I thought I had all these guys involved in the, these attacks as well. So I'd love to take their capital because I think that'll drive the, at least that state out of the war. Also, it would, uh... It wouldn't mean I don't have to fight in these mountains, but it would make it easier for me. Get in there, Orion's Wrath. Spelled wrong. Alright, so I'm just going to rest on this river here while I let my guys get their organization back. So I feel like some units get their organization back really, really fast and others take forever. I don't know why. And I think I have light tanks over here somewhere. Tanks. Boom. I mean, when it comes, it comes time to actually fight in the plains with these tanks, damn are they good. They're excellent at, at fighting. Mountains, mountains. It's all mountains. Am I fighting... In, like, is this attacking into the mountains as well? Is that what the problem here is? Terrain. 
It's mostly just terrain. Right, you guys can immediately turn around, go this way. I'm, I'm hoping that, you know, pushing down this way, where it's easy, is going to make them worried about their position here, maybe... No, they're not going to pull away from their capital. They won't do that. I know they won't do that. But maybe they'll at least pull troops away from it, make it easier for me. Wow, do they just keep throwing guys into the combat here? Come on. Break their lines. It looks like they're shuffling... I, I keep seeing them shuffling men back and forth. I think they're getting confused. I need to get my command structure uh, fixed up, because it's kind of a mess right now. Oh my god, and look at this. Are we really losing that many men? Like, we need more officers. It's starting to really hinder us. So what are we getting right now? We uh, Every day we educate 93.8 new officers. Okay, not too bad. Yeah, this is this is an ugly battle. Ugly, ugly battle. Now this is just going to be a distraction, so I'm not actually anticipating. I was hoping they'd pull away if I resource. Why is my resource stockpile? It's not low. They did. They canceled the attack. That's exactly what I wanted. Whoa. Medium fuel tank research. Okay. So your imperial through our research and new technologies, we're now able to deploy tropical island garrison units similar to our normal island garrison units. These units lack offensive firepower and maneuver capabilities, but are specially trained and equipped to function in tropical or jungle environments. These unique combination of ground and air defense capabilities will pay dividends should we require their Excellent. Tropical island. Uh, Chinese troops have defected. I'll put the Chinese to use. Communist guerrillas. Oh, we should have grabbed uh, Chinese collaborators right there. We could just leave them where they are, actually. We have all these uh, cavalry kind of spread around the country. They've been uh, really helpful in taking out partisans and things like that. So, all right, let's... Uh, oh, th th these guys need to rest. But you, sir, you're perfectly well rested. So you could push down this way. No, we might need... We might. We could even push into uh, People's Republic of China from this direction easily, probably. Ooh. Two hills, that's why. Oh, there's a river there. Motherfucker. The hell's there a river there? Sometimes the map is uh is a little funky. So I feel like you guys are gonna be useful. Well, let's see, where are their planes? Right here. Scoot right through there. Or you know, actually you're gonna be perfectly useful down here. There's plenty of Plenty of planes in this region. So you're gonna go there, and then you're gonna go there. Put a lot of time and effort into those strategic bombers, although they're not they're just called heavy bombers in this. I'm not sure if that's going to pay off or not. Alright. Still at 11 here. Some units have broken. One under attack. So that's that. What was this over here? Yeah, tons of my units are just completely breaking. Major defeat. We lost 16,500 troops. They lost 10,000. I've got a job for you, friend. Man, that is ugly. That is really ugly. I didn't have as much trouble up here. 
I'm not sure why this one, maybe they just have more units there than, uh, than they had over here. So I guess we're just going to have to focus on what's going on over here. And what is our, is it all Marines? If it's all Marines, we'll just, yeah. Huh. Thought the Marines would be better at getting over that river. River crossing penalty, 62%. They're Marines. Are they just special? Maybe they're just special for. Maybe they're not Marines. They're just special forces. So, the, yeah, I, I'm thinking maybe they're not naval infantry per se. They're just special forces. Punish the enemy. Ooh, do I want to scorch the earth? We conquer new land. It would be possible that we can't hold it, but at least we could try to devastate as much as possible. Of course, some people will complain that this is evil, but we are at war and have higher priority than being noble. Leave them nothing. Japan loses, uh, gains 20 threat on all. That'll let me get into the access, I think. Battleship armor advances. Super heavy battleship construction. Hang on, guys. Capital ships. Super heavy battleship construction. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do that, and we're gonna go to this the bottom here, and we're gonna go boop, right up to the top. Let me take that off. I say our cruisers are actually really good. Transports we should do that. Actually, and get that up to the top too. Some marines are actually pretty good right now. Everything's pretty decent. Bomb load. We'll get the aerial mines going. Get some gun turrets. Tag torpedo bomber. That'll be nice. Definitely gonna need that. All these planes. So many planes. Flying boat. Heavy bomber prototype. Hmm. I feel like manpower might be a problem for Japan at some point. Definitely want to do that stuff, though. All right. Unpause this, bitch. Yeah, their capital is going to be a bitch and a half to take. Jesus Christ. And, I mean, it's mountains on all sides here. They've got they've got a ton of troops bottled up right there, which I do not appreciate. Let's see. How will the infantry do crossing a river here? Tell me. Tell me. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Okay, fine. <laughs> Maybe bringing in some heavy artillery will help. Although, I mean, none of the other cities were nearly that difficult. That is a little unsettling. Actually, let's bring you... I, I changed my mind. Um, right here. Because we, we're already across the river here. So it'll be easier to move over that in that direction. And yeah, these guys, they just take... The, the repair time is, is really high. For At least for the fighter bombers. The CAGs seem to go pretty quickly. Quickly indeed. I'm really hoping that these bombers will be good at, str you know, they'll be good at doing the strategic bombing thing. Uh. Small fleet. We need more transports fast. None of that added to the production queue? Auxiliary ships, yeah. We did. Kind of static this episode. Not really doing much because I'm I'm really interested in taking out their capital, but it's extraordinarily difficult. It seems. I would actually like to build more heavy artillery to go with these guys. All they are are big guns that are there to help. At least these guys are getting their organization back rather rather quickly. Communist guerrillas. Whoa, I was not paying attention to these gorillas over here. Boom, boom, boom. Or not. Can't move into those lands. But you can. Okay, we'll go with that. Uh, I basically have everything from 1938 on this right now. And it's probably not the best idea in the world to do things like that. I should probably thin it out and focus on what I want. I'm really bummed out that that attack 
faltered like it did. It's that's really ugly. And actually, you know what I'm gonna do? Um, let's I'm gonna thin the ranks over here, and let's move them. I can't strategically redeploy them there. Well, let's at least get you around everybody. Let's move them down here. So I got all these units, and they're really not doing me that much good sitting here doing nothing. Let's take one of these guys. Move them down here, like all these regular units. Fighting in the mountains, that's not their full potential. Need more organization before we're going to do anything. How are our supplies looking right now, actually? Received supply. Is this... Well, uh, infrastructure, is that what I'm thinking of right now? Infrastructure is actually not that bad in some of these regions. I mean, some of them are kind of ugly, but it's... Oh, oh, it's really bad over here. <laughs> it's actually okay right over here. That's really, really fuck p pussing out there. All right, let's throw in some more, some more troops. See if that helps. Oh shit, motherfucker! That wasn't the control button. Just uh, accidentally minimized my screen by hitting the Windows key instead of the control key. Are, are are you already attacking? You are already attacking. All right, well, let's um. Let's do. Let's get a little movement going here. That's nope. That, that's actually we're gonna need reinforcements before we start moving down here. Yeah, not exactly uh, is, is as good as I thought in this region. Maybe we gave them too much time, but you know what? We needed time to organi organize ourselves, and so did they. I'd love to launch another diversionary attack down here. But before I need to do that, I need to replace these guys on the line first, so I will need these infantry divisions to finish up. And maybe maybe these little reinforcements we got coming down from their capital region are going to do the trick. And there's a little rebellion. Damn it. Get rid of all this stuff. Alright, so. I'm going to take care of that. Um... You, my friend, you're going to come over here and you're going to take care of that. we got these guys over here. You're going to go over there and take care of that. And we're going to keep going. Right, how, are we, how are we looking over here? Petrol rationing. Gain 10,000 fuel. Sure. I would really, really like it if this would actually, if, if this was, well, let's, uh, let's open up another attack and see how, see what it's like. I don't know if those guys are going to make any difference. A nine is better than seven. Scrap metal drive. We're going to basically do this every year. All right. The heavy bombers are done. We're going to put them down here. Merge these two guys together. And hopefully we can send them on strategic bombing missions over China. Victory Parade! Oh, we won that battle. Nice. So the infantry should stay there, though. So you're going to go here. And here, they're gonna go like that. Let's uh, let's use one of these guys over here to take care of these. We'll just pull some guys off the line for just a moment. They're not doing much at the uh, at this time period anyway. I mean, I'll last we tried this last time and it barely did a, it barely scratched them, and all it did was severely damage our cags. Come on, you can move. You're quick, quick like a bunny. Yeah, they're it's ba they're not ba they're barely doing anything, and they're getting the shit kicked out of them. Look at all they've got so many guys stacked up there. That's the problem.
Well, this is not this is not doing anything. Not making any progress there. God damn it, they're f fucking bastards. Maybe we need to push. Maybe we need to open up another front and completely surround them. I'm thinking that's the only way to do that. I'm I'm thinking that might be the only way to take care of that problem. High popularity. Change the command. After the last defeat, someone is to take responsibility. Oh, okay. Remove some officers from their duty and make place for more skilled commanders, or we can search the guilty between the... Okay, let's see. We can lose 50 officers, gain a descent, or lose a little bit, or is a defeat weight. 50 officers, that's not a big deal. Reward our heroes. Yes. A lot of descent right now. That kind of really jumped up. And that was where? Well, we can just go down here and go like this. Take it off. Those bombers are probably already out of date, though. Those are the ones we just built. Let's take a look. And they're already getting gun position. Uh, crew layout, 1,000 kilogram bombs, bomb sight, Air Force HQ. They're not that far out of date. Just a little bit. I'm thinking the only way to, to take out their capital here is going to be to try to completely 100% surround it. Which is going to be really, really difficult. Because I, that's just more fighting in the mountains. Oh, this is going to get ugly. That's what that's... I wonder if we can sneak around. Uh, that's fighting in the forest. It's all mountains in every direction. As we, I guess right now I think the best thing to do is just keep pushing on Republican China. Or the Republic of... Republic of China, not Republican China. Let's see, uh, let's do this, and then support it- nope, nope. Uh, not- <laughs> shift clicked instead of control clicked. Support attack. And hopefully they'll do pretty good over here. 31, they might be able to break through. Auxiliary vessel. Oh, those get built real fast. I like that the upgrades are basically done now. We're about to launch some new battleships, which I love. Auxiliary vessels. Yeah, we're just gonna throw those in over there. Well, who the fuck are you, and where the fuck did you come from? What the hell is this nonsense? Did I just overlook this? Or did they sneak through? What the hell happened there? I must have just overlooked that. Wait, 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 wait. We got guys right there. No, there's zero zeros. I don't know if they're going to be able to do anything. No, nope, this is this is not going anywhere either. Huh, I don't like that. Kind of stalemated myself here. China, Japan spent how long fighting in China exactly? How many years was it? I think it was a lot. Eight? Well, actually, it might not be as hard as I thought to surround them here. You know, getting here is going to be difficult without this one, though, so we'll just focus in on this one. These guys are under attack, so they're just going to wait it out. I mean, all these guys are attacking them, but... River crossing penalty, terrain, stacking penalty, night modif- uh, damage attacker bonus, yeah. They're not going to get anywhere. Alright, you guys are definitely going to need your full strength before doing this. So we're going to wait on that. We can do it, but we're going to wait on it for just a minute. Oh, fuck. Um, boom, boom, boom. Thank you, guys. Take care of that for me. And we got this down over here. Artillery unit organization training. It's good. Starting to get the, that officer rate back up. It fell down to 89% there for a moment. All right, I guess we're not going to leave. Oh, this is ugly. Ugly, 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 ugly. We need more troops. We got more coming, but they're a little ways off still. I mean, some are going to finish pretty soon. 
Stripped clean by locals. Oh, fuck. Oh, the toast is about to finish. Some people might be happy because this, these are going to be probably the first battleships that are going to be... We're still ground attacking over here? Motherfucker, shit. I thought I canceled that. Some people are going to start getting their units, uh, some units named after them. It's been a while. Oh, you know what? But before those finish, we're going to have to end this episode. Oh, so close. These, these are actually pretty close, too. But all these guys, uh, well, these these four right here might get uh, probably at least the battleships. I kind of like the names on the, the carriers, but at least the battleship, battleships will get the cool new names. Uh, from fewer names, that is. So, everybody, if you have enjoyed this episode, please just drop me a like. Leave me those comments right down below. And if you're interested in more Benjamin Magnus plays Hearts of Iron 3, just subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next time.